Good blessed afternoon coming to you guys in okay condition. Ah, uh, man, to read, um, yesterday we we're on Proverbs 6, and in that chapter it talked about the six things that the Lord detests from Proverbs 6, verse 19 through 20 something. Verse 16 through 19, I'm sorry. And uh, starting at verse 16, there are six things the Lord hates, no seven things he detests. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill the innocent, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies, a person who sows discord in the family. So if you are sowing deceit in the family, he hates that. If you are lying on people, he hates that. If you are bearing false witness and pouring out lies on someone, God hates that. If your feet race to do wrong, if you're quick to do evil, if your heart plots evil, if your hands kill the innocent, if you have a lying tongue and haughty eyes, these are the things that God hates. So, there you have it. The six things that God hates. I have been battling with a like this head cold, man. Um, like I, I couldn't even work today. <laughs> um, I was getting my behind kicked this morning when I got up. I don't know what it is, but um, really quickly before I want to get into this prayer against the spirit of infirmity, but um, there was this like noise this morning. And I'm sweating because I turned the AC off so I could try to sweat this cold out or whatever. Um, I got some tea on the stove. There was this, like this woman this morning um, right here by like my apartment in the neighbor's apartment just making all this dang on noise. And um, why is it important? Because I asked my neighbor, I said, hey man, did you hear that this morning? And He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't hear nothing. I'm thinking to myself, like, I said, as loud as she was, you didn't hear that? So, um, it definitely had to be spiritual. And the deeper I get in this book, uh, he came to set the captives free. The weirder stuff gets around here. So, um, you know, I'm glad that I'm in this book. But I must say, man, um... That's why I brought that up to say that the weirder, the deeper I get in this book, he came to set the captives free, the um, more demonic or spiritual things that seem to be uh, taking place around me. So that lets me know that I'm learning the right thing um, when the enemy is trying to scare you off of it or get you to put it down. So, um, prayer that I put together against the spirit of affirming the spirit of sickness. Uh, I sent this to a few people, so if you've gotten it, just pray it along with me. Father God, we come to you today on behalf of those who are dealing with the spirit of sickness, asking that the spirit of infirmity be loose from him or her today. We pray and ask that you rain down the very same fire and brimstone you rained on Sodom and Gomorrah, that you would rain it down on anything that is binding his or her spirit, be it a generational curse, ancestral spirit, or a covenant that was unknowingly or knowingly forged via their dreams. God, just in your word, 2 Timothy 1, 7, you have given us the power of love, the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. So that, as your word states in Luke ten nineteen, we may trample over snakes and scorpions, because you, God, have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Psalm 9, 91, 11. <clears throat> Father, in Deuteronomy 28, 7, it is, your, it is that... <clears throat> It's your word that you will cause our enemies to rise up against us, but they will be smitten before our face and we and um, they will go from us in seven different ways. And we pray and seek that the angels you've given charge over us shall hearken unto your word, God, and smite this enemy, which is a spirit of infirmity, and that your daughter, your son may be healed from this. And we seal this prayer now 
that we have found this spirit being named the culprit for this sickness with your word in Proverbs 6, 30, 31. People do not despise a thief if he still to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. And because your word is spiritual law, we rebuke, renounce, and cancel all agreements. Sully forge with the spirit. And we decree and demand that it return and restore unto us sevenfold, but including all the substance of his house. We submit this prayer to you, Father, according to your word in Philippians 4, 6 and Mark eleven twenty four. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving that your request be known unto God. And therefore I say unto you, what things you so ever, what, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Father God, we believe in your word and your holy law as it governs the spiritual realm being the parent to this one. In the mighty and matchless name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray, amen and amen. All right, guys, so uh, this morning God had me in Psalms 119, um, <laughs> reading from verse 1 all the way up to about 70, 72. Um, but in our 31 days of Proverbs, we are in um, Proverbs chapter 7. Uh, more warnings about an immoral woman. Proverbs 6, again, is another uh, juicy chapter for the men, and uh, Proverbs 7 as well. So, I pray that this video finds you all well. I hope that prayer um, helps some of you all out today, and um, you all continue to be safe. Um, I cover you all with the entire armor of God. I cover... My family, myself, with the entire armor of God, and I, I plead the blood of Jesus over you all as well, as well as myself and my family. In Jesus' name, once again, we pray, amen and amen. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into these videos. I'm already uh, dripping sweat, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish my detox and get some tea. But you guys have a blessed, blessed day. And um, to remember that God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of a, a confidence, sound mind, and the spirit of love. So, and all that you do, continue to get understanding and don't be frightened off by the uh, sickness that will come upon you through your, through the fact that you are seeking knowledge on the enemy and that you're getting knowledge to uh, better battle them in the spiritual realm. Uh, continue to keep uh, myself and my family in your prayers and I will do so as well. My email will be in the description box as always. It's open for prayer, fasting, or just a simple um, you know, if you need what they call it, consultation or, you know, just need some direction, I'm here for you guys always. I love you all so much and you all have a blessed, blessed day. Take care.